Today I'm going to show you how I draw the proportions and all those curved lines to a boat using a figure eight method. First I'll show you a short video of me painting one of those boats in the field and then at the end of the video I'll come back and I'll give you several more examples of how I use this method. I'm going to start off by drawing this with charcoal. So I'm going to do as accurate a drawing as I can, which will save me a lot of time in the long run. I could do this with a brush, but if I have trouble here or I want to change the composition a little bit, this charcoal wipes off very easily and I won't have any paint to deal with to wipe off. Also another advantage of using charcoal here is if I use paint to sketch this in, uh, then I would sort of destroy this nice burnt sienna tone underneath. And I want to leave that intact for as long as I can because some of this burnt sienna may become, or most likely will become, part of the texture of this boat. I need the big basic shapes here to be proportionally right. I don't need to put in all the details. Now this boat is listing a little bit to the right, so I have to keep that in mind. So that means this line here will be slanting down and so will the stern, slanting a little bit that way. And whenever I paint a boat like this, I think of a figure eight. And no matter what angle I'm looking at this boat, a figure eight will usually work for me to get the nice proportions of the boat. In this case, I'm looking at it, of course, from the stern, but this figure eight will go something like this. We'll start here at the bow, swing around, the figure eight here, so you can see if we could see the other side of that boat. We would have a figure eight. Of course, we can't see this part of it or too much of that. So we'll just erase that. But I wanted to show you how I managed to get what I think are the right proportions. 